everyone, I'm Teresa and these are the oracle messages for the month of March. Welcome back to another oracle of the month. We are officially done with February and it was an eventful month to me, but hopefully you had a good journey these past weeks. I'm excited for March because it opens the doors for springtime and the days will slowly warm up and I'm in a dire need for sunshine. I'm not even kidding, I'm really lacking vitamin D from staying inside so much. So remember to catch some sunlight every chance you get. <laughs> but that's not why you are here. You are here for the March Oracle messages and that's what we are about to do. If you are new to my Oracle readings this month, I'm using the Believe Your Own Magic Oracle deck by Amanda Lovelace. It has been calling me um, to use it for a few days and I haven't had the time so I'm going to use it on today's video. That way I can change it up a bit from the usual decks you are all already used to seeing and do something different. So I will draw four cards, giving you some time to pick which one you want. Remember that you can think of a question while choosing or just keep your mind quiet and see which card calls out to you. So are you ready to pick your card? Let's draw them. Okay, now that you had some time to pick, let's see what's the first card of the month and it is raindrops. Take a chance on them. Let me just adjust the light. Okay. <laughs> so this is a lovely card to start the month. Have you been experiencing some time in the rain? A downtime where things seem grey, dull and the cold makes you shiver? Remember that the rain here is not actual rain, but a rainy spirit or mood, okay? Sort of having um, a dark cloud in your head. You can be experiencing some cloudiness lately or be actively preventing yourself from enjoying the outside, other people and sunshine because you are afraid of the rain. This happens a lot when we are mistreated or face negative people. Those negative experiences can make us hide in our own shell so we don't get hurt again. But this card wants you to trust to take a chance. When you hear the phrase take a chance on them, who comes to mind? A friend? A co-worker? A possible love interest? A family member? Whoever it is that you are avoiding or keeping out of your safe space, it is okay to take a chance on them. They can carry the umbrella that will help keep you out of the rain. So don't allow past experiences to ruin your present and future ones. People are not all bad people, nor are they all good. We are a good mix of good and bad, and every now and then we cross paths with those that give us only the good side, because they see our good side too, if that makes sense. So take March to take a chance on people around you, allow yourself to be more vulnerable and open and see how your happiness is multiplied. Okay, so card number two, spaceship. Okay, don't be afraid to sing. I always tell this to people, don't be afraid to sing your song, to let your voice be heard, to speak your truth. The world is just too big and time passes by too quickly for us to be afraid to sing. We can't live chained to fear. Yes, fear can prevent us from getting hurt and doing some things that wouldn't work for us, but when the fear commands our entire lives and is overpowering, then it does more damage than good, okay? Whether this is work, family, love, socially related, you are probably keeping yourself quiet out of fear fear of being misunderstood, of being silly, or even of being judged. But don't be, okay? We are who we are, our voices were made to speak, and even those without a vocal voice can still speak true sign language. 
writing things down and so forth. So there is absolutely no reason to keep yourself from speaking your own truth. If your truth is something that can bother someone else but will bring you peace, then it may be time to evaluate the situation. Remember that those that aren't aligned with our beliefs and our most honest self are just not our people, okay? They are not for us, even if they are family or blood related. Blood doesn't mean love. So take baby steps, if you must, fight the fear of using your voice to sing. Now moving on to the third card, Lavender, okay? Surround yourself with love. I absolutely love this one and honestly it goes very much in line with what I said on the previous card about finding our people. So whatever March throws at you, you are being called to surround yourself with love, support and joyful moments. Even if it seems hard to find time, you need to make time for it, okay? Reconnect with friends, even make new friends if needed. This is a time to get cozy and talk about life, do fun activities together, whatever works for you to keep love close to you. You may be lacking the company of friends because, you know, as adults, life does get busy and we can't always hang out like we see on TV shows, but don't let friendships fade because of it. Put in the work, the effort and the love. It will be worth it, I promise you. My best friend moved to another country and not only do we chat daily, we do Zoom dates on most weekends so we can catch up and say the darnest things just to get each other to laugh and forget the, the bad things that can be going through our minds. So don't use distance as an excuse if you live far away from your friends right now. Give them a call and catch up. Hit them up with a text message and ask how they are doing. Ask if they are free on a given day and go out for a coffee or something like it. But take that first step and don't wait around for people. Remember that love is not granted, it is built and now it's the time to keep building it and surround yourself with it. Soak up all the love and recharge yourself and those that you love and love you back. Now final card for March and this card is the escapist. Okay, let's focus. Okay, come home to yourself. So this card is quite the opposite of the previous one. If you pick this card, you are not being called to be social at all. You are being called to stop escaping yourself. Confused? I will try to explain. <laughs> are you drowning the noise of your inner problems, doubts or worries with other things? Escaping your inner work by keeping busy with something else? You may be going out every day, spending extra time with people or even um, immerse yourself in activities that keep your mind busy, like watching movies or reading books. And this is all fine, of course, but you are using these as an escaping mechanism and you are being called to stop it right now. Yes, we all need downtime to have fun and disconnect from our troubles, but if you keep ignoring them, they won't go away. They'll stay there in the back of your mind until you decide to address them and solve them. So March is the month to clean out and organize all of your mental drawers. It's time to come home to yourself, to take your inner troubles one by one and accept them. Work on them and, if possible, solve them. Of course, some problems won't be solved. They can be lifelong buddies, but it is important to acknowledge them and work on them so they don't snowball and end up overpowering you in the future, okay? Seek help if needed, but working on your own may work just as well. Just remember that there is always help available to those who ask for it, okay? Meditation and journaling can be great tools to start sorting out what is bothering you and what ways you can move to find solutions. So take March to do some mental self-care and come home to yourself. Don't be afraid to face yourself and your inner demons. You are stronger than you give yourself credit for and will be able to win every battle you set yourself to fight. And we are done. These were the messages for March. I hope you enjoyed them and that they will be helpful throughout this month. I know it was a lighter reading with only one deck, but I felt 
really compelled to pick this deck out, so I hope you all liked it just the same. Let me know in the comments section what you think about this deck and the reading itself, if it was helpful and what are your plans for March. Of course, always remember that these are generic readings done from far away. The messages you receive may you know, may not make sense at the current moment and that is perfectly okay to happen. Some messages are not obvious at first and then while the month progresses something sparks that makes it all make sense. Before you leave don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already of course. That is the only way to be notified every time I release a new video. I know my schedule has been a mess but I'm trying to get back to the tarot series sometime soon so if you are waiting for those Thank you so very much for your patience. I really miss doing them, but I haven't had the proper time to organize myself. <laughs> you can also find me on other social media, linked out in the description box. And if you really like this video, remember that you can help support my channel at the small price of a coffee by donating through my Ko-Fi account. I will see you on the next video. Stay safe and enjoy the month. Bye.